<laughs> I'm going to give you some teams. I'm going to tell you whether they're, they've got the missing ingredient or not if to make a perfect dish and get some Ws, all right? We even got some CBD oil on the, on the table. All right, let's get, let's get to it. Say word. <laughs> <laughs> let's start with uh, the game of the year, the Rams and Chiefs. They exceeded the hype. They combined for 105 points. Patrick Mahomes threw six touchdowns. Both he and Jared Goff threw for over 400 yards. It was a video game that came to life. And no doubt that both of these teams can put up points in a hurry. But Chef Marty, does either team have the defensive ingredient needed to win the Super Bowl? Uh, I'm just trying to see what we got. Um... What do we got? We got some paprika. I'm going to go with the CBD spice. oil because you got to be high if you think either one of these te teams have the defense to really compete. In the playoffs, they let you play defense. Right now, in the regular season, they try to sell tickets and get the views up. So they're calling everything it's an offensive game because offense sells tickets, defense wins championships. So you must be high if you think these guys have what it takes in the defensive side of the ball to be a championship team. Well, I think Marty was high when he texted us at 3.30 on Monday. <laughs> like, oh, I forgot there was Monday Night Football and I don't have these tickets. I don't know, there's been Monday Night Football for 40 years, but he seemed to have forgot. I just, so. I just don't I didn't realize I, <laughs> every day of the week is the same for me. Every single day is a Friday. I just enjoy life. Like Marty, Marty's just in that imagination station, <laughs> just drunk, <laughs> eating candy. And That's what I was creating. doing when I texted him. I was like, oh, there's a game to that. Game I, of the year. James and I are sitting there hoping to get tickets. You know, I'm trying to get in there. Marty's like, you know what? We get you tickets to the next something's, round. Game. Something's going on today. <laughs> There's an energy in the city. What is it? Is it Christmas? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it was, except for I was doodling and writing some you know, trying to be great. Yeah. So Trubisky, he's banged up for tomorrow's game. Speaking of young quarterbacks, it's going down in Detroit tomorrow on Thanksgiving. But the Bears are still rolling. Khalil Mack and the defense, they're the closest thing the Bears have had to that legendary 85 defense. They're in first place in the NFC North. Chef Marty, you played in Chicago. Do the Bears have enough to contend what ingredients do you think they need to get over the hump? I don't know if that's a very true statement about the 85 Bears defense. It's the best Bears defense they've had since 85. No, nah, the, the, when they went to the Super Bowl, that defense was good. Yeah, Brian Urlacher was pretty sweet. That Les Briggs, Pat Tillman, yeah. those guys were rolling. Those all right, guys all right so this is a step below that team. Thank you for Yeah, uh, I just want to make sure that, uh, just to get y'all Bears history. Yeah, I, yeah, all I, the Bears. I was there in Hallis Hall in Chicago <laughs> for a long time, and there's a lot of people get passed over. Lovey Smith. Gets looked over because he, he won 10 games and got fired. I know. That's what happens when you're a black coach. You know? Shoot. Nah, I ain't going to censor you. Let them know. I'm just, talk your talk. You saw what they did to my man in Toronto. <laughs> Dwayne Casey, coach of the year in the NBA. Oh, shit, fired. They fired him. Oh, man. Can I, back to the Bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what do they need to, to become a, a serious threat in the, in the NFC North? I would think they both need, oh, man, what are these? Some, I don't even know what some of these do. Uh, what the? What do you have any questions about? I mean, what is, I mean, ground sage. Who uses ground sage, and what do you use it for? What do they need? Forget the spices. I know you're taking your chef duties rather seriously, even though you don't oh. put on the chef hat. What uh, what do you th what do the Bears need to become like a football team that you actually respect? I do respect the Bears. You do? Yes, I think the Bears are playing very well right now. I think they're doing just enough to win games. I think they haven't had to they haven't had to have an excellent showing from Trubisky yet, but I think the defense is going to keep them in games. And it's Trubisky's an offense job not to lose games. And I think when your defense, this team is set up on the defensive side to win a championship. So they're not going to put up the numbers that you're seeing with the Rams or the Chiefs or other teams like this, but they will keep the game close and they're going to have to win games in the fourth quarter. If they could continue to keep the games close, they will come through in the fourth quarter because I really like what their coach is doing too. Playoff team, you think, Bears? Yeah, I mean, who else is coming out that division? Yeah, right? Aaron Rodgers and the Packers don't look like enough, and we know what you think about yeah. the state of Wisconsin. So they're leading. They're leading. Yeah, so what's it like as a Raiders guy to see Khalil Mack out there balling out? That must be fun. I mean, I'm, I'm happy for Khalil, man. He, he you seem ecstatic. He escaped uh, the NFL sunken place, which is the Raiders right now. <laughs> but also, I'm just happy to see uh, Chicago <laughs> leading uh, anything that's not uh, murder or shooting related, you know? Chicago's not that bad. It's just great things happening. I love Chicago. I just like. No, but I mean, they've been they've been killing with like the murder rates and stuff. I'm happy to see them like on the top of like the like NFL, yeah. NFC 
charge. I think you just said they've been killing it with the murder rates. I know. So on that note, let's Funny. move on. Wordplay. <laughs> just a couple of weeks ago, the Cowboys, well, speaking of wordplay, they were left for dead. Zeke's been running wild. Dallas has won two straight, and first place in that wide open NFC East is actually on the line tomorrow when Dallas hosts the Washington football team. Chef Marty, Dallas keeps winning. Jason Garrett keeps his job, right? That's a good thing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, they won two games in a row, and everyone's so crazy about it right now. You know what I'm saying? So, like, and they beat the, the Redskins, and then they beat the – If they if they beat the Redskins on Thursday, they beat yeah. The, yeah, they beat the Redskins, and they beat – I forgot who they played They beat Atlanta. Year. Yeah, they beat Atlanta, who's not playing very well, and who they beat – uh, whoever they beat for that probably Texans, was. I think, or they lost. No, Texans, Texans, I don't know. They lost. Texans, Texans lost like yeah. one, like eight straight. So I'm not Eagles, really buying into. Eagles, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, beating the Eagles. That's not very much right now. So I'm not really buying into this whole thing. Or like, oh, the Cowboys are back right now because I think they could still win this division because this division is very weak. But at the same time, anyone could win this division right now. And um, so they still need. They need all the spices. They need all the help. They well, I, they just need to find a way to keep the pumpkin spice that is Ezekiel Elliott. <laughs> Running the ball, because this guy can play some football. Yeah, like, he's, he's out there doing everything. He's leading in receiving. He's leading in uh, rushing. But how long can he keep this up to be leader, the leader in two phases of the game on offense? Yeah, we'll find out. I can't believe they're still in the mix with the season they've had. And another team in the NFC East that's actually still in it, the New York Giants. They actually have life. Saquon, Odell, and the three and seven G-men have strung together back-to-back -to -back wins. Forget... For a minute, the victories came against the lowly Niners and Bucks. For, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Chef Marty, is there any way the Giants have the ingredients to actually contend for the NFC East crown? Again, the NFC is, East is pretty weak this year. Um, my man Alex Smith is down, so that was a big blow to the Redskins and what's going on over there. I think this is still open. I think I think they can. If they bounce back late in the season, they continue to win out. They could actually Crazy. Win Who you got in the NFC East? Uh, honestly, I, I don't know. I mean, 6ix9ine just got arrested. I really feel like that's going to mess up the energy in the whole New York area. <laughs> yes, you know, there's so many questions surrounding that. It's going to leak into the locker room. People are going to be like, what's happening to 6ix9ine? Racketeering. Racketeering. What is racketeering? Like, like, oh, focus on the plays. You know, and so that's, I feel they're you. not New yeah, York. Yeah, Giants, Giants are out of it. Yeah. Well, you think Eli's going to be like, yeah, it's kind of like what happened with my jersey and helmet that one time. What? Remember, there was like the whole what? scandal behind his helmet. Was it real or was it authentic or was it game no, worn? No, I don't remember Eli Manning and Takashi 6 9 Racketeer? references. Racketeering. Anyway, <laughs> the quietest win streak in the league belongs to the. I love this show so much. I'm so thankful for it. Belongs in Indianapolis. The Colts have won four in a row. They haven't given up a sack in a month, and Andrew Luck seems to be a lock for comeback player of the year. Chef Marty, how far can Luck and the Colts go this year? And what spice do they need? What ingredients do the Colts? Need. These look like some lucky motherfuckers right now. So I think what they need is a little bit of what uh, <laughs> a little ground sage and ground clothes because Andrew Luck is still throwing the ball a whole lot. They need the ground game. They in need order the ground to, game. Yeah, to get we got going. there. We got there. We got <laughs> there. He's been throwing the ball a lot. So I want to know how long he could keep it up throw, throwing the ball as much as he does and. You know, if they could get the ground game going a little bit more, I think it, this team is very up for – but they have to beat the Texans. So yeah, I like seeing Andrew Luck healthy, man. He's I love Andrew Luck. He's great, and he still has a flip phone. And, and a book club. He's just a really – I have a book club too, so that's not that special. And um, he's just really, <laughs> really great, and he's just a good dude with – a nasty beard, and I just enjoy it. What's in the book club right now? What do you recommend? I'm so for the glad holidays, you asked right? that. Yeah, right. I'm so I mean, glad. Right. Let's put football aside. And let's <laughs> talk books. What do we? What should we read over the Thanksgiving holiday? Do what you guys should read. Like, I mean, I just finished. This is Mark Marketing by Seth Go um, Gooden and Gooden, and then I think the next book is probably going to be Matilda. Dope. I nice. like to read. I like to read like reread stories at different times around Christmas your life. time of like the year. So, nice. um, Matilda, that's a rolled out. I didn't realize her dad was such a. D Matilda's dad? In the book, he's worse than he was in the movie. Danny DeVito was in the movie, you know what I'm saying? But if you read the book, you'll be like, God dang, he's a he don't want his daughter reading books.